everybody, and welcome back to Divinity. Original Sin. Where were we up to? Well, it seems like we've got a lot to do here. All I've done in the meantime, by the way, is just do a little bit of selling. Right, so Ahu has told us about the, the night that Jake was murdered. Uh, so we need to speak to the innkeeper. The church, the archaeologist, which we're not doing yet, the scaredy pact, undead scourge. Okay. Zigzags. Let's give us the rift device. Yes, he has. So we can go back there wherever we want. That's okay. And we need to talk to the sailors on the dock in order to finish that quest. <laughs> Where was Jake's mood out to? Uh, right, so we need to speak to the innkeeper. Uh, as I said before, I've, done, I've just sold some uh, stuff. So we've now got 1,482 gold. And a little bit of room. Uh, Dexterity 6. Send that to my door. Well, hello there. Any tapers? Come on, you chickens. Right. Let us head it to the inn. Alright, oh, he wants to borrow some fish, in other words, steal. <laughs> I think we'll side with the merchant here. The merchant has to eat too, you know? Leave the fish alone. Okay. Morals never fed a hungry man. I think these are just general answers, not going to give us any updates. Again, just general stuff. If you wish to read it, just pause it as usual. Going that way. Why, why, why? When the inn is just here. Go on, Nick, behave yourself. <laughs> Get it right. Feed a big cheese on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. Let's see. Halibut, cheap greetings. Tomatoes. Find out who he is, he's Mendius. Do you like adventure? Of course, how could somebody in my profession not do? And Jules agrees, of course. He's got some waffle, this guy. <laughs> Pulling us in. Get ready for the big sales pitch. There we go. Fabulous five. Oh, 
All right, we'll go for it. It's a, it's a pyramid system, we know, but we'll go for it. <laughs> All you need to do is sign this waiver. Here we go. Join the guild. There we go. I know you're going to stiff us. Ask about the sailors, but we've no need to really because we've already sold that. Farewell. And we got a journal update. Why is that flashing? Oh, I didn't know we could do that. So we can go to either Mendius or to the other the, to the captain. Oh, that's okay. Learn something new every day. There's the fabulous five quest. Need to go to the Northern Cave. Clear out Ahu's contraption. Right. Let's just head into the inn. Let's have a word with the barman first. Greetings. How do you pronounce that? Is it just bad or ibad? Anything first to buy? Mm, no. There we go. Tell him about the night of the murder. That room where it happened, it was rented to a certain woman, though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance, and I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a certain Esmeralda. Oh. Figured that this was just more of the same. I saw one other figure in the room that night, someone tall, built broad like a man but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visits, visitors. I was startled, startled awake by a horrendous hubbub. Shortly after midnight, I jumped up and grabbed my grandpappy's machete, <laughs> bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it, had escaped through the window, and I saw nary a soul when I looked out. You can bet I hightailed it to the Legion barracks faster than you could jack rabbit after that. Do you suspect anyone? Councillor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about these affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that happened, I wondered if that weren't a grave mistake. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called Duke of Ferrell, a high title for a lone man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I recommend it. Okay, that's the next job then. Do you have any word for Tree Wolf Sailors? No. Bye. Bye. All right, let's let's get our next character while we're here. Greetings. Hello, Medora. <laughs> She's a bit paranoid, Medora, in case you, you can't guess by reading all this. Using Theron of being a, a warlock after he gave her a little wink, innocent to the untrained eye. His curse immediately came over me. In other words, she fell for him. 
<laughs> and the feline menace. Oh dear, dear, dear. Medora. Yes, we'll invite her to the party, and there she is. She's got a fox around her neck. And there is Medora in all her glory. Right, so what we've got to do while we're here, we said we'd go and visit the scene of the crime as well before we talk to anybody else. We've spoken to Orius, please let us in. Thank you very much. We've unlocked a new room at your homestead. Yippee! Right, let's have a quick look around here. Right, you know it's stone, we want that. I believe we need that later in the game at some point. We'll take that painting. I can't see any key here, so uh, let's get on Medora control. Oh! Oh! Is that it? Magical armor portion. And that tells us that we need some repairing to do on that. 33 of 60, okay. We also need to pick up the other part of the teleporter pyramid. Hmm. Right, so we need to inspect the body to take this any further. Now I've got a decision to make here as well now. Do we wish to keep Medora because we're going to be getting... Uh, well, two more characters to get that I know of. Uh, and Orgrey is really he's going to be a, a, like a tank style, so we don't really need a two-hander. So we might keep the... Next caster that we get, which yes, I think that sounds like a good idea. Right. Source was in play here, all right, but that doesn't solve the mystery. I think it would be wise to inspect the councillor's corpse and see what clues we can find. Okay, we will do that. Right, so we need to speak to the uh, the Duke in here, I believe, as well. And we might as well speak to the cat. Unsinkable Sam. Greetings! Okay, he's in love with the mayor's cat. I don't think he's got anything right. to say about anything else. Right, let's have a word with the Duke of Ferrell. Mind control vibrations, I'm sure! 
Don't be seduced, comrades. <laughs> that was Medora, by the way. <laughs> All right, tell me about yourself. Look at that straight away. Minus twenty attitude. Farewell. All right, so he basically knows nothing at the moment. Now we could do some stealing in here if we wanted to, but we're not going to bother at the moment. The fierce stench of frightened source goblin. Actually, I think that's only roast pig. Ah, yes, yes, of course. This time. <laughs> Uh, she is a star, Medora. If you have a, I really do wish I, I'd created two mages down to keep her with us, because she, she's quite amusing. Uh, right. Next. Whoa, we need to go to the... Mortuary. I think. To... Oh, Kitty Love. I have to inspect the body, so... The natural place to go is the morgue. Let's head in there. It helps if you're leading the right person in. Again, nobody around so we can take this without worrying about it. Corpse Compendium, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll take that as well, yeah, go on. His ledger. Take those nine inch nails. Uh, I don't think we need to take that hammer. Alright, let's have a look at the ledger. Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, Evelyn or Esmeralda would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. Our corpse can't just vanish into thin air. And even if it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold onto the empty slab. So somebody's stolen the corpse and left gold there. So he suspects one of those is involved with taking the corpse. Alright, so we need to dig up Jake's coffin. Looks like the mortician is rather suspicious about Jake. What could Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn have to do with it? Alright, a uh, quick save there. Let's go and have a word with this gentleman. Ooh. Right, old grey, I need you over there. Keep his back to there. Greetings! Right, well we've got greetings there, we'll just detach our little sneak. Come along. Do you have any lost things? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there's an identifying glass there. We'll have to get that. That'll save us about 400 gold. Chesky. How about that? <laughs> Didn't know that was there. Chesky. Take all, what's we got? Unidentified stuff. Right, identifying glass, we need that then. Right, rejoin the party. There we go. Alright, so what's the bad news? More rocks rampaging through the docks, or have those infernal statues set another soul flying to its death? Bum, bum. 
talk about his family, Jake's murder, sad story. Ask him about the body. Ah. So go through the suspects that he's got. And poor Esmeralda. Everything points to her. Bye. Bye. Right. Right, so we need to inspect the body. <laughs> or the body. <laughs> so the place to head to is the graveyard. Uh, but before we do that, let us head to the end of time and discover the other room that we've just discovered. Because then we can get the teleporter bike to the north gate, which is right next to the cemetery. Which is very handy. Right, so we should be able to uh, talk to the uh, Weaver of Time. So Right, let's have a look what's opened up here. What an impressive room. So it is. A hall fit for kings. Wow. <laughs> Weird. Hello there. It's <clears throat> telling us how weak we are, how weak we've become, as weak as we used to be strong. She's been very disappointed in us. We first was the Guardians. As I knew, could they save me yet? Is there still hope? Of course, there's hope. We are here. Right. Now, if I wanted to, I could pick up all these cups and sell them. But we're not going to. Oh, well, there's a, a wet stone now. I wonder if I can use it. Anybody got blacksmithing? Did I put that on? Craftsmanship. Of course I didn't. Damn it. <sighs> Looks like we're going to be doing that next level, which is very soon. Right. This, this is John Smitten. Where, if we wish to, we could hire people. Bye. But we've got a full party at the moment, so it won't let us. It would cost us money to hire from there. Uh, what I can do as well, if I wish to get rid of a party member, uh, talk to them, ask them to leave the party, and they would come here. So in order to pick them up again at any time, I'd just come here and level them up and have a look at them. Oh. Let's check these bookcases before we go. Oh, sheet of paper, that's not very exciting, is it? Right. Go back and talk to Zigzags. I haven't the foggiest, but the eerie bit is that she seems to know us. Ask him about this. Well, hello there. Time, maybe she knows. Hmm. 
There we go. She's one of whose history is shrouded in darkness. She is more than a woman, though less than a goddess. She knows you. She has wronged you. Perhaps you have wronged her. She is part of the end, though she longs to be part of endlessness. The threads tell me that once or how many eons lie hidden in so small a word, once you strode across that hall in shining armour, a sovereign to all who beheld your might. I can clearly read the armies you have led, demons and dragons you have conquered, and that you have ascended, so we did die at some point. But how can this be now that you stand before me, a human, a mortal? How far has your soul fled? From being it, from the being it used to be. New threads, more threads we need. Okay, I'll take my leave. I'll take my leave and we will call it there for this episode. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Please leave me a like and subscribe and let me know if you want me to continue with the series. It's very helpful. This is All Grey, signing off.